The trial of AH and JD has finally started, and while we've been waiting years at this point to see Depp get some justice, day one was already a whirlwind, never mind going into day two. Amber acted extremely childish by rolling her eyes and giving him the death stare. His sister admitted she booked extra hotel rooms so that he could escape arguments with her, and of course they've been trending on social media since the trial started, so I really wanted to cover what we already know about this situation since I've talked about these two actors in the past. But quickly, before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or supporting the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So I wanted to start with this independent article. It says Johnny Depp to testify as lawyers claim Amber is a compulsive liar. The legal team representing Johnny Depp in the defamation case against his ex-wife has made their opening statements with Mr. Depp's attorneys painting Heard as a compulsive and chronic liar who used the allegations she made against the actor as a means to advance her own career. Now, I'm not sitting here saying we know that for certain, but it does definitely look that way. She got a lot of acting parts after that op-ed in the Washington Post came out. She got a lot of attention on social media. She got a lot of brand deals. A lot of people looked at her differently because they looked at her as a victim. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely terrible what she went through with this big named actor who she married out of love and passion. That's the way that they tried to basically market this divorce, but it says they claim she wanted to portray herself as a heroic survivor of abuse. The attorneys also noted Mr. Depp's drug and alcohol use, but argued that a substance abuse problem does not prove that he ever hurt Miss Hurt. And this is something that a lot of people have talked about. Oh, Johnny Depp's a terrible person because, you know, he abused drugs and alcohol. But I wanted to reference this tweet quickly because it is true. It says Johnny Depp has never denied his issue with drugs and alcohol. He's been honest about using them as a crutch throughout his life from a very young age. And yet there was never a story about him being violent to people in the 30 plus years before Amber Heard. And I do think that this is important to point Point out because there are multiple women that he uh, had relationships with that have come out and said he was amazing to me. He was an absolutely uh, perfect person to me. It, he never hurt me. He never abused me uh, physically or verbally. So I do think that these are all very important things to point out. And a big thing that a lot of people are pointing out are how her stories are changing because now her attorneys claim that Mr. Depp had sexually assaulted her, a claim that has never been made publicly before. It says Miss Heard had never made that accusation against Mr. Depp. It was never part of her allegations of abuse in 2016. So what changed? When she realized the seriousness of what she alleged about him, she panicked and alleged sexual assault. In Mr. Depp's 58 years, years. Not a single woman has ever accused him of violence and nobody in Hollywood or the world had any reason to believe he was an abuser until Ms. Heard publicly accused him. And of course, I'm sure as a lot of you know at this point, his career was ruined over these accusations. He was not innocent until proven guilty. Hollywood treated him as guilty until proven innocent, and that is just a very unfortunate situation. I think that Johnny Depp is an amazing actor. He doesn't seem like a bad person. It seems like a lot of these accusations are simply just accusations. They're stories. Um, obviously, we will not know until the very end of this trial, but at this point, Amber Heard is looking like a terrible person, and there is a lot of new information that's been released like this. Johnny Depp's sister revealed she booked extra hotel rooms so Johnny could escape arguments with Amber. This is a terrible situation. And it gets even worse because now uh, this article has come out. 
with these claims. Johnny Depp gets emotional as the actor's sister says Amber Heard called him an old fat man. While yes, that might seem minor to a lot of us, imagine being told that on a daily basis by someone who's supposed to love you. It's unacceptable and it's disgusting. All she did from what it sounds like is pushed him down during their marriage and even after uh, when she tried to ruin his career. This is evidence of her hating him during their marriage, so of course once that relationship was over, she'd want to destroy his career, never mind the physical abuse that we've heard that he's gone through. Um, and she's admitted to on voice recordings before to hitting him and saying things like, oh, no one's ever going to believe that you're the victim. Everyone would believe I'm the victim because I'm a small, innocent woman, which is disgusting. Now, this to me is absolutely hilarious, and I will be honest, I laughed at this for a minute or two, but it says Amber Heard's lawyer suggesting that she could have been as big as Gal Gadot and Jason Momoa due to the success of Aquaman, if it weren't for JD, has to be the most hilarious thing I've heard all week. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that her lawyer would suggest this. I'm going to be honest, Amber Heard is a terrible actress. She is not good. She is just so mediocre and very replaceable. I, uh, I do not think that she could ever be as big as these names in Hollywood. While I understand, of course, she wants to make it seem that way, like he is hurting her career in some way. Her career has thrived because of the accusations that she made because there were so many people in Hollywood that believed her. She would never be as big as Jason Momoa or Gal Gadot. And one of Johnny's witnesses even said this, Depp's family has been completely wrecked by all of this stuff. It's not fair. It's not right what she did and what happened. For so many people to be affected by this, it's insane. I personally do not think that Hollywood should have blacklisted him and stopped working with him. I do not think that he should have gotten fired from all of his jobs, just like I think that Amber shouldn't have gotten fired from any jobs until, of course, someone was proven guilty. That's the way the world should work. I know that's not the way the world works on social media because there's people who see situations, think they know everything, and then whine, moan, groan, and complain until something changes, until companies take action and companies feel like they have to take action so they don't get canceled, especially against claims like this. But Johnny Depp's career has been ruined, and I cannot wait to see what else happens during this trial. And I know that sounds a little bit positive, but I do, at this point, want things to be proven against Amber because she has gotten away with so much, with making so many accusations, with getting someone's life and their family's lives absolutely ruined over simply accusations. I know that they both sounded like they contributed to the toxicity in their relationship. I am not sitting here saying Johnny Depp is a saint, but again, I do not think that his career should have been ruined over these accusations. So as the trial goes on, I will definitely be covering it in live streams and in videos. So uh, if you enjoyed this video and found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.